Oh, I know. I know. It just, you know, it just keeps getting bigger and better. It just keeps getting bigger and better. It just keeps getting bigger and better. It's Periscope. And that's what Periscope does. Periscope just keeps getting bigger and better. While you stand by and watch. That's right. Periscope just keeps getting bigger and better while you stand by and watch. And that's a fact. Waving a hand and wishing everybody a good morning out there. Hi, I'm Ganji Dankman of the band Tossed Out. We're out here in greater southern Oregon wishing everybody a fantastic morning. Man. I slept really good last night. Had a good night's sleep, and I hope everybody else did out there also. We're waving a hand and wishing everybody a good morning. I know that, uh, you know, sun's coming out here, and it's going to be uh, probably almost 60 today. It's, uh, it's spring in Grants Pass, Oregon. Oh, hey, Slayer Moon. Come on in. Jump in the live chat and say good morning. Morning, Slayer! <laughs> Slayer in the house! That way I don't have to repeat everything you say. It's easier if you talk for yourself. Slayer in the house! Slayer, Slayer, Slayer. How's your morning going, Slayer? Did you have breakfast yet? Breakfast in America. Hey, good morning, Slayer Moon. Yeah, am I echoing or anything? No, you're not echoing, but if the louder you can talk, the better I can hear you then. I'm trying to trying to not use any remote speakers. I'm trying to listen to all this off my iPhone. <laughs> okay. So um, how's your morning? I'm good. I woke up like 45 minutes ago. Now I'm watching this shit about that coronavirus and shit. Oh, oh I know. What's up with that? Yeah, there's there's so many things going on right now on the planet that it's it's real hard to um, you know, it's real hard to um, to focus on everything. <laughs> so so what's going on? There's a virus going around in Canada now or somewhere? No, it's in China. You don't you haven't heard about it? Yeah, I have. I haven't been watching the news. Yeah, I've heard about it. He hasn't, but I have. I'm just looking at it all over the internet. There's like thousands of people sick and dying. Yeah, it's like from a flu virus. Yeah, in China. It's in my state now. Like someone's been confirmed with the virus in Washington State. Really? Yeah. Wow. What What are the symptoms of it? Um, Jesus. pretty much everything. Like you literally will convulse, and it's even contactable through eyes. Confirmed wow. in Canada Two too. Tears. Oh my God! Wow. In Canada too. Oh great! Hey, life with chef. The don't. Hey, life with uh, chef. Good morning out there. The That's don't. too bad. That's crazy. That's too bad, man. I wonder if it's a government-made bullshit like some of the other stuff, or what it is. I don't know. The doctors in China, they're blaming the government, and they're also saying that. Like, it's way more serious than the TV is promoting. They said there's like hundreds of thousands of people sick. And oh my God. TV is saying that there's only like 26 people dead, but the doctors are saying there's thousands of dead people. Wow. Wow. Um, in answer to your question, um, Life of Chefs, no, I don't know who those people are. Uh, great. Is this it, guys? Is this it then? Is this the flu that's going to take us all out? Is this where you grab your bucket and start scratching okay, off your mind. list? Right. Yeah. yeah, no kidding, right? Well. I feel bad. I'm not trying to get sick, though. I'm not going nowhere. Oh, God, no. No, do well, not. That's great. That's great for me, someone with an autoimmune deficiency disease, though. It's yeah, go out, up. go out in public. No. <laughs> that's messed up. <laughs> I don't know. Is it a fear factor, you think, though, too? Mm. They are saying it came from snakes at a food market in China. Huh. Wow. No, I've never really heard about it. I, 
I think the news is a lot of time filled with uh, propaganda and misinformation and disinformation. So um, a lot of times I just don't turn to it, you know? Yeah. I try to fill my life with pleasurable things like music and sex. Sure. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's been movies uh, on hype, hyped out all kinds of uh, stuff for Fear Factors. There has been. Oh yeah. yeah, a number of movies on it. Yeah. But you know, you guys out there are probably not 59. If you are 59, concern yourself more with just enjoying life and sex. And if you're not 59, well, start right now and focus your life on enjoying life and sex. That's just about how simple I can put it. Because something's going to take you out, you know. Sooner or later, something's just going to take you out. That's just the way it is. Seriously. And you never know. Yeah. Enjoy, enjoy every second that you have. Take every minute and enjoy it like it was your last minute. Yeah, exactly. At the very first chance you can, you get some money up, grab a bus ticket, come down to Grants Pass, Oregon, and sit down here and smoke your face off. <laughs> that's why I just sleep and lounge a lot <laughs> I'm not going to overstress myself about anything <laughs> yeah, well, well you to do. They want you stressed out. yeah they want sheep are out. easily controlled when they're scared so they're they want scared. us all scared you know hey life of chefs good morning good morning, good morning. life of chefs I want you to meet uh, this lovely lady here from Seattle Hello, I'm from Canada. What's up? Yeah, yeah I just is, met. Uh... Well, go ahead. She, she's Slayer Moon, and um, she's somebody that you really would enjoy as uh, far as talking to. She's a really nice lady up there in Canada. Nice. Yeah, I just met. Uh, Cattle. Cattle, sorry. I met my first Periscope people yet last night. Right on. It's a it's Doug and Ali show. I don't know if he's probably. They're always in and on in the morning, like Friday, Monday to Friday. But they do like a they broadcast and they do like um, they own a photography um, studio in Detroit, so it's wow. right across the river from me. So for, I've been in their in their room a lot of times, and they always like we, we got to come to Canada. We need to get a passport. We want to come and eat at a restaurant. And this has happened for the past probably four or five months now. So they finally got a passport like two weeks ago, whatever. So I said, well, just let me know when you're when you're gonna come over and. I guess they're vegan, so I told them I'll hook them up with a vegan dish, and they came. Wow! Nice. Wow, that's neat. That's fun. But if you if you look at yeah, it's their um, their Periscope name is Frameable Faces. That's their uh -huh. photography business. What's but the they're so Frameable Faces. Okay. Frameable Faces on, on Periscope. It's so they're so funny. Like they get telemarketers calling all the time. And he pranks them on like live on their thing. It's so funny. Like they're they're cool. two awesome people. They're really cool, really nice cool. people. Yeah, we'll check cool. it out. Thank you. Hey, thanks, man. But yeah, as as far as this this virus thing, I remember talking to you guys about this before. How it's almost like people make movies so that in the future, yeah, we did. Remember, we we go, oh well, that was a movie. That's not real. You know, yeah, we had that. This happened, this happened, yeah, this happened in a movie. This virus thing, there was a movie. I'm trying to remember what it was called, but I remember at the end of the movie, they basically went through all the steps on how this this uh, disease happened or where it came from, and it ended up coming from like a Chinese restaurant. I guess wow. the food got contaminated from rats or something, and that's how it. I, I'm trying to think of. I think the movie it was like everybody turned into zombies or something. It was wow. like a, I'm trying to remember what it's called. You gotta research that. Get the movie. It's kind of like the same thing, but everybody turns into Republicans or something. <laughs> then the snakes eat them. Hopefully. I I think what we should do is start focusing all of our energy, um, and I really mean it, all of our energy towards the Senate hearings. <laughs> Is he ever going to be impeached? I don't get it. No, he, he's basically admitted to the press that even if I am impeached, I will not step down. You cannot remove me from office. That's what he said. I mean, what kind of president says that? Because he, 
he's known for saying ridiculous things just to make people go. Oh. I know. I know. I know. And I know. that's his point. I think that's his point. <laughs> like I was told, I was told that there was a, there's a book. I don't know what it's called, but there's a book that's about that. How, um, People that the higher people in the world basically said stuff. Oh, wag the opposite. Dog. The opposite of what the people actually want, just to make people. I don't know. I forget what the book was called. It might have been called Wag the Dog. <laughs> wag the Dog. <clears throat> I don't know. I never read it. I just heard about it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I believe I've heard about it. Uh, you know, and a lot of it happens, you know, the, the world, you can't con really control it. Um, the people that do control it are the 2% of the people that have 98% uh, of the wealth. So basically, we're disenfranchised by not being multinational, multi-billionaires. Yeah. Well, there's so many people on the world, uh, on Earth now that it's like, you can't control everybody. It's important. It, it's impossible now. I entertain weird, 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 weird ideas because they cannot be unproven, you know? I mean, like, you've got the um, Admiral Byrd that was a decorated war hero, hero, flew above the North Pole, and after he went past the North Pole, he said he saw trees and lush jungles, and it got hot, it got tropical, and then, uh, you know, he found a center, a hole in the planet, and um, he was greeted by aliens, they... They basically commandeered his craft, landed him in the inner earth, and um, told him what time it was. Told him, you know, when he, if he wanted to leave, he could leave and all that. So he came back and he told the world, and um, they took it and said that his, that the leading pilot, the most decorated war hero, one of the most decorated war heroes of all time, was hallucinating and didn't know what he was talking about. <laughs> his crew and everybody saw it. He already radioed yep. it. Radio it said, "I'm three thousand miles past the North Pole, and I'm seeing jungles and tropical weather." <laughs> he was he, he said it live on the radio, and um, you know, so when you look at all that stuff, um, the Valhalla, the the happy place, what we call heaven, might be at the center of the Earth, and it might be accessible from the North Pole and the South Pole. And the reason the government doesn't want people up there in the North Pole and the South Pole is because they would find out that there is a, a land bigger than the U.S. on the other side of the poles. And nobody really lives there. It's just hanging out. <laughs> Does that maybe have something to do with this flat Earth? Yet? Oh, that's what I'm saying. Is, uh, right. is if you can so believe flat. that it's because of, of Admiral Byrd, then it's not that much of a stretch to understand that... Mm -hmm. They could be hiding a flat earth from us. They could be hiding, uh, they get $80 billion a year or $80 billion a day or something like that. It's an amazing amount in order to fake the space, space program, NASA. Yeah. So they weren't, they weren't greedy enough. This guy had to get into it with SpaceX and every single one of those SpaceX landings and everything looks fake. It looks like if you reverse the footage of a rocket taking off, they just reverse the footage and show a rocket landing. It's it, it looks so fake. There's so many people saying it. Um, you can go on YouTube and you can look at the um, the space shuttle live space shuttle videos. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Photoshop. You can take a video off there of the live space shuttle videos of them floating in the space in the, inside this the space shuttle, and you can freeze frame it. And you can freeze frame it at points where there's little picks sticking up out of their shirt on each shoulder. And it's unmistakable. Um, they're using character generation to blot out snaps and wires that are holding up people that are supposed to be floating in space. Now, why they would have to use CGI and block out wires and snaps and straps that are holding people that are supposed to be floating in space, I have no idea. You answer that one. I'm going to go pour me some coffee. I'll be right back. <coughs> I think I have the coronavirus. No, don't say that. I have not seen the cough since I've been watching it. You, you can't say stuff like that. You'll get it. Don't say yeah, that. Don't, don't fuck yeah. Contagious by words. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Don't say it so 
know, say, say you're not going to get it, you're not going to get it because seriously, the mind has a lot of power. Yeah. Well, Stay away from Chinese people. Don't go to I'm Chinese. I'm not even with Chinese food now just because you said that. Yeah. <laughs> we have, we have well, also, food. You know what else you also have to think about? You know, like that website Wish and all those things you get yeah. stuff from China? Stop. Don't get shit from there right now. Because you never know if it's touched by, you know. Well, that's, that's kind of hard because everything in America comes from China. Exactly. Exactly. Even the American flag sewn on to the U.S. troops' uniforms are made in China. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking at eBay, and a lot of the online stores in China are like, the dates are, they're like, we'll be back in a few months. Oh my they're, God. They're, yeah, maybe they're taking their own steps to be like, yeah, we don't want to. That makes sense. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Uh -oh. Well, it, it, you know what it is? It's probably the gut because the government shut down those cities. Like, no one can go in or out. So that's what it is. They probably told businesses you can't move things uh, out. It's going to be interesting to see what happens to Vancouver, BC because most of the people there are Chinese. Yeah. <clears throat> well, it also, back into conspiracy theories, if you look it up, um, you'll find there's so many conspiracy theories involving nuclears. Um, for instance, um, when they did nuclear test, they took like 7,000 troops and they took them out on a ship and they took those 7,000 uh, people out on a ship and, and put them like five miles away from an island. Then they said, watch, we're going to have a nuclear test on this island. Then they, they sat there and... Um, and had like 300 people, and you can you can talk to them. Those people are still alive, some of them. Yeah. Um, 300 people in the military took a transport ship, and um, they took dynamite, literally train car loads of dynamite, to this island. And they stacked that dynamite. Well, an hour and a half later, an explosion happened right at the same place where that dynamite was piled. And it made a giant mushroom cloud. And from the ship, people felt a blast and everything. And they said, see, that was a nuclear experiment. But the people that were putting the dynamite down were told, we're putting the dynamite down for a different reason. So who was telling the truth? The people that put dynamite down for a big explosion or the people on the boat that were told it was a nuclear test? Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Me, I hide my head. Just kidding. Well, this, this all goes back down to what you just said about what, maybe 15 minutes ago? Live life, enjoy life in the moment, and sex. <laughs> Stare into the eyeball. Have massive sex. That's what Is that, that a ring? Stare into the eyeball. Have massive sex. Have massive sex. <laughs> is that a ring? What is it? Yeah. It's my eyeball. They're into it. That's cool. <laughs> this was found because we go to a lot of weird places, but it was laying in the street. What? <laughs> yeah, that probably like, freaked you out when you saw it. <laughs> a fucking eyeball. <laughs> yeah, I, was like, I freaked out. I sit down, get into the car, and look down, and there's a fucking eyeball looking at me. So I, I, I would have oh, done a double God. take. <laughs> I would have done a double take. Is that real? Fuck. Isn't oh, I took a double take. It's pretty it cool. Is. Yeah, it's a ring. Is it, is, is it a ring? Yeah. 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 Oh. Remember, we're in Grants Pass, Oregon, where weird stuff happens. I was going to say, if, that would be cool if that was an actual, like, eyeglass eye. No. Or put no, it in your eye. Like it Somebody lost it. We live in a weird area. This is Grants Pass, Oregon. I'll give you an indication of something weird that happens here. Okay. They had construction at a McDonald's. And they needed to build some drainage or something for the McDonald's. So they dug up the ground with a tractor and a backhoe. And when they dug up the ground, about three feet under the ground, they found five objects right at the McDonald's. They found five objects. And when they looked the objects over, they were freaked out and called bomb control. Bomb control came in and found out that they were hand grenades. There were five hand grenades buried at the foot of the McDonald's, and one of them uh, was a fake grenade, and it was un, you know, it was used and all that. And uh, two of them 
were live grenades with the pin in them. Somebody had buried live grenades at the foot of the McDonald's store. I mean, who the fuck does that? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe when you want it with your takeout. I, don't know. I mean, who the fuck does that? Can I have a bomb, please, with my cheeseburger? I mean, was that the manager that did that just for an easy escape? Or what? Yeah. I mean, it yeah. makes you wonder. You yeah, have an underground tunnel at McDonald's that hooks up to the Walmart store. Yeah, really. Is that my water then? No. That's my yeah. water. I'm going to grab me some water. I'll be right back. Don't touch my water, man. <laughs> and you know what You know what happened? Uh, was it Friday night? Friday night. Well, two, two, Friday night, two blocks away from where, where I live, there's this, this uh, bridge like on the street. And this car, it must have been fucking icy as fuck because it was cold and, and kind of raining. So it must have been icy. Uh-huh. <coughs> so imagine you're about to cross a bridge on the right hand side on, in the right lane. It got so like slippery. It basically veered off to the left before the bridge. Basically went over the ravine, hopped the river, the little river. The little river is probably, I'd say, 25 feet long, like or width, 25 feet uh, width. Yeah. It went airborne. Okay. I would have loved, like, because there's no footage of it, but you could tell that's what happened. I would have loved to see this happen. It went airborne over the, basically went over the water, and it just barely hit the the next um, break wall on the other side. Oh, the lucky. front end of it hit it and f- yeah. basically flipped over on its uh, on its top, oh like wow, almost like a like bam. Were the people okay? the whole, it was a minivan, and the whole top of the minivan is like flattened, like the car's flat. They had oh. to get a crane <clears throat> on the bridge and go and lift it up. Yeah. Um, holy Were fuck! The people okay the inside? Well, supposedly the they're in the in the hospital right now. Oh, yeah. Wow, oh, two guys. But I know that's what what it is. Is they probably had a green light turn yellow, and they're like, let's, "Let's let's speed, let's reach." You know, they wanted to pass that yellow light, but didn't realize that once they start going up the incline for the little bridge, it was probably black ice, guaranteed well, black ice. And it veered off to the left. It hit some trees, little like little little, little pine trees or whatever. The cops Whoa. were there all day yesterday doing their crime scene like investigation. You know, like they're. But I was like, wow. holy. That would have been amazing to see how that happened, and that's yeah. they put a thing, they put a thing on the media thing saying if anybody's seen what happened or was you know even like a couple blocks away and saw you know they they want to know if it was speed. Yeah, that's totally amazing. I <laughs> basically landed in somebody's backyard. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> weird, than in I have house. a weird story, a weird true story. When I was like uh, 19 or so, me and a friend of mine, Dan, were going out partying. And we went down to this little bar downtown uh, Vancouver and tried to get in Vancouver, Washington. And uh, we got pretty fucked up. You know, we were wasted to the point where we couldn't drive. We didn't have cars. We were just walking. So we're walking down the street about 3.30 in the morning. And uh, me and my buddy Dan used to make up stories all the time and, and pass the time when you're walking, make up colorful corollaries or, you know, rhymes. I've been basically writing hip hop since I was a kid. And um, we were walking along and, and hypothesizing how life would be, you know. And we looked up and I said, and there's nobody on the road. I mean, it's literally just, you know, it's dead. It's 3.30 in the morning in Vancouver, Washington. And I see these headlights coming from way down the road. And I said, wouldn't that be weird if this car came up here and all of a sudden just veered off and went smash and got in a big wreck? And my buddy Danny went, yeah, wouldn't that be weird? And all of a sudden, just like just like a sci-fi movie, <laughs> in the of the night, this car, without making a sound, drove past us through a chain link divider, through a chain link fence and hit a concrete barricade wall. Wow. And we stood there. It happened right across from us. And we went, are you serious? So we ran over and um, it was a lady and um, I took her vitals and um, oh, her wow. coat was laying next to her. I propped her coat underneath her head. Uh, police came, people came. And then I didn't want to be involved in the press. So I just kind of snuck away when the crowd got there, me and my buddy. 
but uh, we we helped her in the very beginning. But it was it was the freakiest thing, man. Who who says something like that and then has what, it happen what, right in front of? What the time of the day did that happen? Because this this happened at like oh, one in the morning. in the morning. Yeah, this happened at one in the morning, and it's like oh, I wonder how long they were landed like that yeah, until yeah. someone realized that they were there. Yeah, that's like, uh, like right. they People could have been sitting for twenty minutes before somebody like another car came by. Yeah, and then section and so I'm like what the fuck <laughs> you get, you get lucky up here you have tons of people who just get lost up here yeah up here in the back road you'll you'll find um tracks that just lead off and it's uh, it's up it, to you to stop on the narrow road to go look and see what the tracks go to it's worse than that yeah, you'll, you'll see cars set on fire people intentionally set them on fire yeah they'll steal a car and then burn it out here we had yeah we had one yeah, we had one of those a couple of weeks ago here in, in town. It was just uh, near the fucking movie theater. They found a fucking pickup truck. It was Sunday morning at 8.30. Yikes. They found it lit on fire. So obviously they, they, they knew. What kind yeah. of truck is this? In? So what goes on up in Seattle lately? Seattle. <laughs> All I know is what goes on in my room. Uh, yeah, Seattle. Yeah, well, know. you're Mom safe too. in your room. <laughs> yeah, like, no, this is not is. an exaggeration. I'm kind of like testing myself. I have not, and I mean this, not even for a second, stepped outside one time this year. Well, that might not be good. <laughs> I'm trying to see how long I can stay inside. You haven't left your room and- Twenty. Uh, well, it's only twenty six days. They've got DoorDash up there in Seattle, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I use that. I use Instacart. It's a hundred dollars a year, and you have free delivery. And I said, you know what? Every time you get delivery, it's like probably five, six dollar delivery fee. I said, I'll pay the hundred dollars a year, and I can get groceries every week. Really, for free. And and you don't pay that delivery fee. I'd, I'd rather spend $100 a year. That's 12 months, bro. We don't do DoorDash up here, but we do do Dine and Dash. That's when you, <laughs> yeah. you, you yeah. buy your food. <laughs> uh, you buy your food and you pay for it late. Usually, you know, when they catch you. I'll come back I later. I love that, you know, this chick. It's this whole story about this chick, you know. She's just badass and she's like, yeah, fuck life, fuck this. I'll hitchhike, fuck you if you want sex for me, you know. And I wrote this song about her. It was this made-up character, you know. That's how I do my songs sometimes. And it was like she just did the door dash, you know. She was badass. <laughs> uh, I got in I've never, I've never door dash, ever. Actually, you know what happened the other day, uh, last week, This we had this uh, server come up to me and she's like, you know what just happened? I'm like, what? She's like, well, I went and put down the Interact machine for the customer, right? And yeah. when she came, uh, the people, she went and got some drinks or whatever and came back and the people were putting their jackets on and said bye and left. Well, she goes and grabs the Interact machine and there was no receipt printed. And she goes, she goes and finds them. She's like, oh, oh, well, I got the receipts. I'm like okay, well she goes and reprints them, and it said canceled. Oh, twice. So she had to run back and be like, "Yeah, you think canceled?" So I told her, I said, "Well, next time you drop off the machine, don't leave it there. Walk away. You got to stay there until they pay it. You know what I mean?" Yeah, well, yeah, that, that's, that's your fault yeah. for walking away. Well, yeah, because it'd be too easy to, for people to take just cancel it and walk away. Hi, bye. See you later. Like they they acted all like, "Oh yeah, yeah I paid." And that ain't cool, you know, because restaurant businesses, I have a couple of family members, and I know and the, girl, the, girl, the, girl the girl, the girl tried saying, the girl tried business. saying one, uh, one uh, eight printed, and I, we know that it always prints two, one for them and one for us. Yeah, that's like, where technology knew right has, away. Gone, has gone too far, you know, because it's like that shit can happen. But you know, people have been dining and dashing forever too, running out and. We had two guys. We had two guys that came. Uh, I have to that food should not be um, be something that's monetized. I think food should be a standard item that's allowed for humans to have. Well, we should all get f- food. You should all. Everyone should have like a certain amount of money a week, and you just order like your necess- necessities. 
you would think. Yeah, like the basics. Well, don't they don't they technically do that anyways? Because you know when you do your income tax, they they allow you a certain amount. So I mean, technically, yeah. I guess that is living expense, right? Well, yeah. here in cool? Oregon, <clears throat> here in Oregon, they made it legal so you can pick up roadkill, and um, I'm sure there's a wide variety of families that don't have enough to eat that are utilizing yeah. Yeah. that and grabbing all the dead deer they can find and everything. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you just, you just got to get it quick. That's all. <laughs> yeah, you got to get quick. No, actually, mm -hmm. it tastes better after it's ripened on the road for a couple oh, of days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Tire marks on there, some rubber. Mm. Age meat. I'll just live off bugs. Marinated with gasoline. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you live near an old log, you can always find some grubs. <laughs> if you have a long enough tongue, then you can get them out. <laughs> and most people don't understand that many parts of a McDonald's meal are edible. Yummy. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Even the box. Yeah, the container that your Happy Meal comes in actually has nine calories. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, Slayer Moon. Slayer Moon, huh. I'm talking to you, woman. I'm talking to you, girl. I'm listening. You gotta get out today. You gotta step out there and breathe that dirty air. <laughs> it's a temperature there. I'm going. I'm going cold cold. This next month. I'm not gonna step outside. I don't think I've ever been inside for a whole month, so I'm just gonna follow up through with it. Hey, hey, Slayer, <laughs> you look so pretty in your picture. I think what you should do is you should just walk out walk out to the biggest public place you can around you, like it's a mall or a store. <laughs> walk out there, find the nicest person that you like, and go up and give them a big hug. Just walk up and just hug them. And say, hi! And then just walk away. Fuck their head up. I'm secretly pit pocketing. Yeah, don't do it to an Asian, because you might end up getting the flu. <laughs> <laughs> Go hug a snake today. <laughs> Go hug a snake. Well, that's what they say. It's, they, they're saying it's from snakes because they, they eat snakes there. They, they, said, that the they said that monkey, green monkeys started AIDS. Like, hello, monkey, monkey. Whatever. Yeah, they used to fuck them. I don't think they know shit except how to stress us out, in all honesty. Yeah, that's too bad. <laughs> trying trying but, to veer us off from the impeachment shit. That's yeah, exactly. Well, of course. But if if you That's think about it, like, that, what? I'm sorry. What? In like a conspiracy way, do you? I don't know if you guys pay attention to this, but have you guys been watching like this huge riot protest that's been going on in China for like the last like six months? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's almost like the yeah. government's way of saying, "Fuck you." And stop they, they do right. do that, like you know, like yeah. well, well, it's a communist country, isn't it? China. Yeah, China. Yes. Well, is it is that Kim Jong Un? No, that's Korea. No, that's North oh, that's Korea. Korea. Who's okay? Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> but in that you way, know like Chinese food and Korean food, one gives you fortune cookies and the other one doesn't. That's fucking. Because they don't care about your fortune, like the future. They're just like, fuck you. Here's your. Food. Yeah, let's just put, <laughs> let's just put some generic down here. <laughs> <laughs> You will be happy today. <laughs> you will prosper. <laughs> yes, Yoda. <laughs> I suffer from chronic pain, and I still keep a couple oh. uh, 40 caliber Smith & Wesson shells down in my pill bottle, just in case. Hey, I don't think I want to go out, you know, in major pain and not lying in a hospital bed so I I'm going to take the alternative route. That's for fucking sure. Or I'm just going to do a whole bunch of cocaine when I'm like, if I'm 85, if I make it. That's right. We're going to run up. Snort. We're going to run up and hang out with the uh... cocaine. I've never snorted it, but I said at 85, if I make it, I'm snorting that cocaine. What a way to go. <laughs> and it better not have any shit in it either. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, yeah. Better not. Better be pure yeah. shit out, Chapo. <laughs> And then I'll put some acid, and then they can just, I'll float up to the orb world, and they, my body will just, whatever, you know? Because, fuck, I don't want to be one of those people fucking, 
Oh, she's dying. <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. Well, there's a lot of videos. Are you, have you guys uh, been on TikTok? No. I, don't, checked it out. I don't do TikTok. TikTok. I don't it's do a actually... party. I don't do a lot of the ones yeah, that yeah, yeah. prostitutes go to because I'm just not a prostitute. <laughs> I mean, no, 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 no. my show, no, no, no. TikTok, TikTok. TikTok's a little and different. I, I sell it by the inch and I live in a mansion. It's, I'm not, telling you right it's now. not all that. I know people on house party and TikTok. They don't show their I shows. don't even go on house party. House party is a chat thing. TikTok's not a chat. Well, yeah, no, TikTok's not a chat thing. TikTok's TikTok's more videos. Yeah, yeah. Like, right, right. Let, on the topic of of getting old, there's a lot of people on there that show their last like day with their dad or their mom or whatever, and you see them like, and it's almost like I got to swipe because it it makes I you know, sad. That's, that's what I'm saying. It's like yeah. I'm gonna be one of those depressing fucking. People. But there's almost times where I'm like, why would you? Well, I mean, some people want. Because they're that's posting it more or less like t- in remembrance of them, you know. Yeah, but you know that's these are my last like, date, last hours with my, and it's just I like, would, like, I would, I know, like this. Like, why would I want to fucking see that? If you see <laughs> Ganji Dankman inviting everybody over for the last days, you might not want to come because I could be really cantankerous in my last days, and when everybody gathers around, I could pull the pillow back to show you a hand grenade. <laughs> Straight up. When I saw it, it reminded me of when I was, I think when I was 12, I was 12 years old when my grandmother died and, and, and I lived eight hours away and we found out she was in the hospital. So like that night, whatever we came and literally we got into town, went to the hospital and within an hour she passed away. Yeah. I was 12 years old and I saw her in the hospital bed with all the tubes on her throat and just, I know. you hey, know. Um, no, it's worse than that. It's like, worse than that. Fuck? I come from a family of, of 1% bikers and hard-ass motherfuckers. And my brother, my oldest brother, was a hard-ass motherfucker. And he looked at me and he laughed and he'd say, when I get old, I'm just going to hang on and make everybody suffer. What? I'm just going to hang on forever and make he, everybody he suffer. Did. So what happened was... He started getting stuff, and he started having problems, and he started having problems, and he ended up dying. And when he died, he hung on for like a year and a half, almost two years, and he ended up with just a torso and one arm. <laughs> what? <laughs> they just kept cutting body parts off of him, and he'd say, oh, it's all right. They'll just cut it off until it doesn't bother me anymore. And then uh, <laughs> if the other one bothers me, they'll just cut that off, too. It's no big deal. No thanks. I take myself out, guys. I'm sorry. He was the strongest man I've ever seen in my life. That's messed up, dude. I'd go up there. He was on oxycodone, and uh, and I'd go up there and and I'd get him off the oxycodone and get him on on pot. And he said thank you because the oxycodone made him feel like gray death, and the pot made him laugh, gave him a sense of humor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. was it, it 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 helped him. You know, it healed him. Oof. It I helps them enjoy all, what you had. Yeah. We, like I, like we all say, we don't get out alive. And, no, you don't get out alive, man. That's then, the way you it know, is. Uh, suicide. I mean, there is assisted suicide here. But if you're lucky, you'll find a concierge service. Wait, in Portland is that an actual thing? Assisted suicide? Yeah, we in yeah, Oregon. Yeah. In Oregon. But you have to be like, I don't know if you have to be like. You have to have a physician. On your deathbed yeah, or whatever. They do it, they do it by uh, intravenous, right? Yeah, yeah just, just putting you to sleep. you'll see a lot of it, you know. Oh, my God, my Nikes got dirty. I'm taking it out. I'm going out. I'm going to go to the doctor and say, my Nikes got dirty. Put, put the IV in, would you? <laughs> you know, I had a two-headed child. I got fired from my bus driving job. Put the fucking IV in. I went to 7-Eleven, and they had no nacho cheese sauce. Put the fucking IV in. When I went to Canada, Someone they had this thing called a tube steak. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, Someone stole my fucking parking spot. When you go to Canada and you go to a 7 Eleven store, oh they've got a big sign up there that says tube steak. You come to the United States and tube steak is a penis smothered in underwear. <laughs> <laughs> tube steak, man. But you go to Canada and they sell them and laugh about it. Uh, it's weird. Well, I'm going to ask you tube steak. The fuck is tube steak? Oh. I don't fucking, I don't know. I guess it's a hot dog. So what do you think? <laughs> a hot well, dog. A sausage. <laughs> a sausage. Italian, spicy Italian. In my case, dog. yes, it would be a sausage. Yeah. 
off. Actually, you know what they call that? You know what they call that in my city? We have the downtown where all the bars, little hot dog stands. They call it street meat. Street meat. Street meat. Oh my god. That's what they call it. I'm going to go get some street meat. Oh Hot dog Dude. That's it. That's, <laughs> that's, what you know? that's, what... that's what Big King calls the girls that he brings to the hotel. That's what I was going to say. Street meat. If you Google street meat, you're going to find like uh, we should, uh, Asian. We should get that has- hashtag going. Street meat. Hashtag street meat. Street meat's pretty good. What did you say, Slayer? If you Google street meat, don't ask why I know this. It's uh, <laughs> Asian, Asian prostitute porn. Oh, is that right? That's funny. I'm no, That's funny. I'm Urban Dictionary. I'm not, I'm what is? Street meat. A common, a common male or female prostitute who markets their goods. <laughs> Often seen on street corners and lurking in deprivileged urban settings. <laughs> street meat. It's better than beach meat. Hey, that might be a new <laughs> band name. I could do that. See, it, but then the second one, it says... It's a variety of meat sold by a street vendor. This includes hot dogs, sausages, kebabs, <laughs> or two, so, no, 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 so a, no, or no, second no, one, a street walking so a, prostitute. So a street, <laughs> a street <laughs> so a, a street vendor is a new name for a pimp, then. Yeah, the street walking prostitute. Yeah, yeah. You want a hot dog? You want some of the pussy too? <laughs> Would you like a hot dog and pussy? Hot dog. And both kinds of meat. That's funny. Oh man! Street. Oh, there's a barbecue. There's a barbecue a kitchen or a restaurant. Street meat barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the hey, corner. Hey, we've got we've got you beat better than that. There's, there's a street, street meats on Spotify. I wonder what what. No, <laughs> you gotta check this out, man. You gotta check this out. There is a place in Grants Pass. It's no longer there. Probably be because of people like me laughing about it. But there was a place in Grants Pass where you could pull into, and it's an Oregon recycling. You can pull in there, and you can recycle your garbage. You take your garbage, put it in this container. You take this garbage, put it in that container. You take this garbage, and put it in that container. Six feet away is a restaurant, and they serve barbecue. So, so you can go up there and throw your garbage away and get some barbecue at the same time you're throwing your garbage away. And I said, who would, who would put a restaurant in a recycling center, a, a, a barbecue place that cooks the food outside even, and then you, you, go up, you can throw your garbage away, recycle your shitty diapers, and grab yourself a piece of street meat. I mean, <laughs> The fucking place went under. And I was like, they probably couldn't figure out why they didn't get any business. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Only in Grants Pass. Every time we drive by that place, we go, ooh. You can tell by the aroma when you're nearing that restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's the dumbest thing. I, I, I'd sit there recycling with the smell and stench of garbage in my nose while these guys are going over there turning the food outside. over on the barbecue outside eight feet away it was, the, it was the weirdest thing man oh my god that's the place you take your family and even like to <laughs> here i'm taking you out to oh the recycling center yeah. <laughs> billy, billy grab the garbage bag <laughs> No, it's even worse than that because now Oregon wants to be California. Dad, I don't want to bring the garbage out. No, no, listen to this. Canada's been doing it forever. Oregon wants to be California now. So we become progressive. So now when you walk into a Safeway store or an Albertsons or whatever kind of store, any kind of store, and you buy your food and you put it all up on the counter. They ask you, would you like to buy a paper bag? And you say, no, I just bought all these fucking groceries. It cost me $87 for this little bag of groceries. <laughs> and they go, do you, do you want a bag to put it in? And you're like, no, They're I'm going to carry it all off my fucking hands. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to balance it on my forehead. You know, I, I've taken those classes in, in, in North Africa and I can balance shit on my head. Exactly. You know they, say, they say, no, would you, would you like a paper bag? They're five cents. You and know, you realize you did not bring a paper bag in, so now you have to buy one of their paper bags for five cents. I just take or, the plastic cart home, the, yeah. one, the one that you can carry. 
like the little yeah. dumb kids, I just take that. <laughs> just take that. I, I told oh, them, I said, that's, that's all right. I'm building good, a collection of these. Oh my God, that's a good idea. <laughs> you just tell, them that, you that. just tell them that's all right. I'm building a collection of these. <laughs> no, here's what, here's what I tell idea. them. <clears throat> I was at a store and they had a big garbage bag uh, collection in a garbage can. Yeah. And they said, tomorrow, we're not going to have plastic bags. They said, we've got a whole a whole big stack of garbage bags here in this garbage can. What are you going to do with them all? And they said, oh, we'll just throw them away. And I said, well, can I have them? She said, well, sure, if you, if you want them. What are you going to do with all those bags? I said, I'm going to stand outside your door and I'm going to sell them for five cents a piece. <laughs> and at that point, she wouldn't give me the plastic bags. <laughs> well, I was gonna sell them for ten. God damn it. I I think there's a whole new job market opening up because of this in Oregon. Now, if you've ever been to the Himalayas or if you ever climbed Mount Everest, you'll know that when it gets to a certain point, you can hire these people called Serpas, and what they'll do is they'll buck your load for you up the rest of the way to Mount Everest. Well, I think all the stores around Grants Pass, Oregon, actually all the stores in Oregon, should start hiring Serpas. And you can volunteer to carry people's groceries out for them because they didn't bring a fucking paper bag. And if you could train yourself to balance the groceries on your head, you'd get more tips. <laughs> yeah. Miss Jackson agrees, don't you? Don't you? My black cat agrees. She thinks it's a really good idea to get her cat bag. Where'd you guys go? Don't oh. oh, you? Yeah. They're in shock. <laughs> you guys are counting up your paper bag, aren't you? <laughs> No, I'm looking at different kinds of weed that I should buy. I'm going to make an order of uh, uh, marijuana. Well, what are you looking, what are you at, looking at? Tell me some flavors. Tell me. Tell me. I got uh, this is 200 an ounce Crystal Cove. It's Crystal like a Cove. Crystal Cove. Huh. I think that's a new Interesting. One. Pink Paradise, Black Tuna, Honey OG, which that's my. I might get that Honey OG. It's 170 an ounce. Did you get it delivered to? Tahoe Alien, Purple Ice. Yeah, I get it. Uh, I basically what I do is I text the number yeah. what I want. Yeah. Um, address. Um, yeah, they just need my address, what I want, and how much. Like oh. how many? That's what and I want. Nice. And, and, so, and, and, and it, you just they deliver it within two hours. Really? You just see what happens. Wow. And is it all little buds the size of your little fingernail? Or no, 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 no. Buds? We're talking nice, nice size buds. Yep. They throw it at the door. They ring the door and dash. Or what do they, they do? Text, they text you when they're when they're here. So you just will go outside. Here you go. Or you, or if you live there, they can come and, and see you. How do, they're, they're a delivery service. And the guy doesn't wear a trench coat. Open it up with all these other drugs. <laughs> Every night, handgun specials and all this shit hanging on his. On his coat, right? Yeah. Here you go, man. We got the dead sick and we got everything for you. We got your food. I, know, I, know, I remember G. I remember in the day when in Montreal in the sixties where you could order pizza and a beer. I remember when you could order pizza, a cigarettes, and a six pack. Yeah. And they would bring you a six pack pizza and a pack companies. of cigarettes. I remember that. Yep. Yeah. Back in the day. Back in the day. Pizza and beer. Yeah. And this, the place that I I, um, I get delivered from is it's actually for, they're on Weed Maps, Weed Maps oh, uh, okay. dot com. Oh. Yeah, it's basically a Google Map. So wherever you're living, you can see oh. which marijuana places sell, and then you oh. click on the delivery ones because there's I bet you there'll be delivery ones in your in your state. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Yeah, there are. I don't think they're allowed to deliver. deliver it. No, I don't think they're allowed. To, with it, we've never seen it. Someone tried it in Cave Junction, but that was probably not up and up, you know. But yeah, <laughs> they, they, they don't allow a lot it of was things. More of a, it, it's weird here. For instance, it was more in Cave Junction. It was more of like a tweaker service because it was like we knew the person and they were you, a tweak. You can go into a Cave <laughs> Junction or a Grants Pass place. And you can look at their pot, and you can see it, and you can say, that really looks good. But you can't tell if it's good, because they won't let you fucking smoke on the premises. They won't let you smoke where, outside. Where about no. are you? So all they can do where is tell you, you all the pipe dreams they want about the bud that you buy. Then, when you buy it, it doesn't look like the bud they showed you. Yeah. Yeah. It's smaller, it's funkier, it's got yeah. more powder in it. And you go, fuck, this ain't even, is this the same bud? It's a shit town, so they rip people off everywhere here. They really do. It's, it's Kush, old. man. It's Kush. 
Yeah, yeah they say, oh, they'll, they'll show you. You can look at the bud, and you look at it. You hold it in your hand. This is beautiful. I'll take an eighth of that. And, and they give you an eighth of something that doesn't even look like that. And it's like you, and they put it in a bag so you can't see it, right? And they rush you because there's so many people, and they sure. rush you out. Here, 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 here. Bye, bye. And then you go outside the door, you open it up, and you're like, this isn't what they showed me. And it's crispy dry. <laughs> it's powdering like, up right in front of me. What the fuck? So you go back in and you're like, I don't ever want to. They'll give you credit, but you're like, I don't like you. I'm not coming back here. I don't want credit. Goodbye. Yeah, I don't I get don't along. Want your street credit. I don't get along with pot establishments. I get along better with the street dealer. Yeah, my I have a big mouth in pot establishments because they don't really especially here in this little town, they rip people off. So I will voice my opinion and then things happen and I have to leave. <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> it's been weeks since I've had the cops call me in an establishment and had them lock the doors waiting for the police to arrive. It's been weeks. Yeah, hopefully they'll, uh, if Bernie Sanders gets in, maybe they'll federally <laughs> legalize it. Bernie. How old is Bernie now? Like 105 or something? 106? Mm, that's what I'm... My God. I'm 106. Oh, <laughs> Fuck, it's cold. I'm actually going to Google really fast. See. You're talking away from your mic, so it sounds like you're talking oh, into sorry. a pillow. Okay, I Googled. He's 78 years old. Right on, 78. He's Jesus. 78. He has all that energy. When is he on Coke? Who? <laughs> well, you know Bernie's on Coke. You can tell the people who aren't at that age because we're like, uh. His middle name is Hoover. Bernie Hoover. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's cool. I, I, I told Bernie, you know. Hey, King Bokaboom. I told Bernie that if he. King Bokaboom. He can prove me that he's going to federally. <laughs> He, you know, make pot okay, then I'll vote for him. But he never answered me. I'm still voting for the write-in candidate, El Chapo. El Chapo. Everybody needs to write in Joaquin Guzman. <laughs> Become part of the change. I say we just get a poor person. If I had, if I have a lot of money, like if I win the lottery, I swear to God, I will take a poor person and make them president. Thank you. And it'll be a woman. No, it'll be a transgender. Actually, fuck this shit. With <laughs> what sex are you? I don't fucking know, and it doesn't matter. You know, I'm a transgender president. Fuck everybody. Else. I think that would be cool. You know, damn well, Trump already goes dresses in drag when nobody's around. So. Of course they do. They all do. <laughs> they all like their little makeup and their corsets. They just do it behind closed doors. Well, the old presidents didn't used to have it. They used to what? wear The old presidents are wearing wigs right on the money. Yeah. <laughs> Big time. Yeah. Oh, well, that's who I would vote for. Somebody that you never dealt with before. I think we should do um, my dearly departed brother that I told you about. I think we should do what he suggested. And he suggested it many times throughout his life. And that is vote no on yes. <laughs> oh, man. I hate grocery shopping. I really do. It's one of the things I really hate is shopping. I love spending money. I'm really, really good at it. I don't like shopping at all. I let my sister do that. I hate it too. Kino yeah, go I'm, kaboom. I'm good at it, but hate it. Yeah, I'm good at it. Like I have like, I know all the prices of every fucking store because I'm cursed with a photograph. <laughs> Fucking memory. And I'm cursed with a pornographic memory. So, so the two of us be really good because he'll pick out a banana and be like, okay, is that 59 cents a pound or what is it? Uh, what's your banana price, you know? So, yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. 
life just keeps getting stranger and we keep getting older that's one thing you can be sure of every morning that you wake up yeah it's a fact but it's good it's good to be alive Let's it's good to be it. alive because there's good people out there yeah you people like you, people you people out there are good people <laughs> good. what was that <laughs> I agree. I'm um getting keep getting higher. Yeah, I keep getting. Higher. Hey, uh, Kaboom! Feel free to follow us. We try to do a morning show every morning out here with no bullshit. Who is that? <clears throat> tiny, tiny letter. I can't. Kino goes kaboom. Oh, hi, Kino goes kaboom. I like that name. That's my friend, Kino. She's You're talking away from the mic again. I was like right next to the mic. I just have a bad phone. You just have a bad phone? Yeah. I'll get, I'll get him a phone. Well, there's a good reason to go out of your house. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No, I like the name. It's cool. I, I went on Craigslist and I bought an iPhone 5S for $100. That's probably what I'm going to do. It was a teacher. And um, she left it complete. She just erased her stuff out of it and left the phone you know, with hours on it and stuff. So okay. I told her I'm not going to use it unless it's an emergency. And she said, that's good. She thought I looked like a nice person. And I bought an iPhone 5S uh, that's a working cell phone for $100. That's, that's cool. Yeah, they work. I mean, you know, you don't you don't need a $700,000, $800,000 phone. That's a lot of money to me for a phone. Jesus, I don't know. But I'm back in the days of 10 cents a phone call, you know. What's it? Get a new phone. What happened to going to get one when I was in Arizona? What? I didn't understand that, uh, King Kaboom. Slayer Moon, you were going to get a phone when he was in Arizona? Sorry, hold on. Um, I haven't been able to do it. This is my dilemma. I'm sorry. If I'm lagging, oh, but um, I have a check, and I was gonna have my sister cash it for me, and, and there's like a huge delay on it. So I'm waiting to let someone borrow, borrow money so I could buy my ID and then open my own bank account. Uh, ah, yeah. there you go. There you well, go. keep in mind. You know, you can go on uh, Craigslist. Go yeah. on Craigslist and just type in iPhone 5S, and you'll find one for eighty to hundred bucks. Yeah, that's what I was planning on doing, anyways, because I don't know how to find the, like the, like all those websites where they sell refurbished phones and stuff. I don't know how to right. do that, so I was just gonna go to Craigslist and find one. Yeah, a lot of those sites can be a scam too. So I, I find it's best just to to buy from somebody that upgraded their phone you know like this lady was a teacher and this was her 10 year old kid's phone and it came with a case and the case was pretty beat up but the phone itself was in good condition so because it was in good condition and it was an iphone 5s i figured it's worth 100 bucks at the time so i bought it and i've been really happy with it i keep with the lower iphones because i like jailbreaking them I like uh, being able to use other software other than Apple. That's a cage. And uh, on your head. Meow. cat on my head. Meow. Yeah, there's a cat Meow. on my head. <laughs> Say hi to the world. Meow. This is Ziva. That's Ziva. That's a She's my baby. She's my baby. She has a very high vocabulary, probably somewhat around yeah. where Stephen uh, Stephen Del Vecchio is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she's a cool cat. What's that? My cat's name's Kovu. He looks like Kovu, but whiter. Oh, yeah, she's a girl. She, they're all rescues, of course. Yeah, we save I things. Do. We love her. Yes, we do. The other one's a quiet one. She is, like, amazing intelligence. Like, she could be one of those circus cats, you know? Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, she's cool. She's so smart, man. Yeah. I can teach. I can train her. She's amazing. Her vocabulary. Her like vocabulary I said, her, she's got a vocabulary somewhere around Stephen Delvecchio's. And uh, man, the sad part is I can't really travel with her because she has this fear 
like we rescued her, we found her, and I guess probably we, well, we found her on this really bad road, dumped, and I think her fear came from that. And she's we've had her like eight years, nine years. She's never gotten over it. The backup beepers to trucks. She hates those. She yeah. freaks the fuck she out. She has stress from it. She has time. PTSD. She does. Yes, I know. Definitely PTSD. Yeah. She has nightmares, too. Yeah, she'll wake up screaming out of a nightmare. Yeah, she's a good girl. Yeah, she's my baby. She's a good girl. With your baby. Yeah. So, so do you guys have any animals? Life of Chef, Slayer? No. Oh. I I I have a cat just like that one, but where the white is, it would be black. But the orange and the black would still be there. See, her oh, face cool. is like split. She's half white, half dark. And that's Ziva. She goes to the dark side and the good side. It's well, if, if you ever come down to party, you got to bring your cat so you can meet our cats. We have so many cats here. It's ridiculous. I got my cat. I seen my cat on a Facebook ad and I commented. I want that black one. And so I went to their house and all the cats were under a couch, like a rocking chair. They were babies. And last That's minute, I, I couldn't see them, but I decided, this is what I said. I was like, I'm just going to reach under and whatever cat comes out is the one I'm going to take. And it was, the oh, exact, cool. it, was oh, the, cool. it was the exact one that I wanted too. So. That's cool. Neat. And what's, what's your cat's name? Merelda. Morona? That's a cool Merelda. name. Oh, Merelda. Yeah. Cool. Destiny. Oh, cool. Nice. Destiny, Meralda. Yeah, this, cats are good is, um, This one is Ziva. <clears throat> Ziva, the warrior. Meow. Meow. Well, I know. Hey, Snuggle Time 57. How are you doing out there? Okay, I got I to gotta head out. I All gotta right, go. hey, Life of Chef, thank you. Have a great day. It was an honor. No, it was destiny to get there. It was an honor to have you in our oh, chat. Oh, I thank see you. what you're saying, yeah. Yeah, have a great day, Have a good day, day peace out. We Take worship, care. We worship the dish pans that you pile dishes in. <laughs> don't, don't stay away from Chinese people and have lots of sex. <laughs> hey, uh, don't forget to send me some Chinese food. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, have a great day. Oh, my God. So, um, Tiger, Kovo and Tiger. Oh, you have a black cat? So do I. Our other cat's black, too, pure black. That Life of Chefs guy is one hell of a nice guy, I'll tell you. That's yeah. cool. He's cool. Yeah, that's cool, man. Cats are cool. Animals are cool. So, um, this is the uh, time All of the right. day when I get underway and there's things that I need to do in preparation. And um, I think we're going to try and put in a little bit of um, studio time today. Nice. And um, it's nice to be able to see you people out here this morning. Yeah, definitely, Slayer and everybody else out there. And enjoy your day and uh, step out and get some sunshine. And once again, I'll go ahead and pass it on because I don't think I say it enough. And that is that life is a shit show. Life is a shit show. Life is a shit show. But you don't have to be the clown in the circus. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, find what you like in life. Analyze, scrutinize, and prioritize your thinking processes to focus on the good sides of life. Because if you're like me, and I know I am, hey, fucking shit show. the good side of life is a lot better to focus on than the bad side of life. There's always going to be a good side on the positive or the negative aspects of life. So do what you got to do to improve you. And um, also, I like to throw this in, you know, it's an ever-changing world. And if you've got a cup, you're sipping out of it, and that cup starts getting filled up and starts running over, don't just pour it on the ground. Make sure you find somebody else around you that has an empty cup and fill up their cup. Help the people around you, and the whole world gets to be a better place. So. Anyway, that's all I had to say. And it's good to have you out here, man. People. <laughs> People. Peoples. And uh, they call her. All sorts of things. And they call me Ganji Dankman. And if you had to hit off one of those blunts being passed around, well, I'm the one to thank, man. Peace. Peace.